To start an extraction on the Maxwell, select Start from the main menu of the tablet screen. From here, you can favorite a method by selecting it and pressing the star next to the method. By pressing the Home button and then going back into Start, your favorited method will be at the top of the list. There are two ways to select a method for the Maxwell. You can either scan the 2D barcode on the front of the kit box or select from the list. You may be required to put in a kit lot number depending on the settings on your Maxwell. When the correct information is entered, press proceed. The next screen shown is the deck setup screen. It has corresponding rows to those on the deck tray. Select the required number of cartridges by touching the screen. You can also swipe from left to right to easily add multiple cartridges. Depending on your settings, you may be required to enter a sample ID. This can be done by touching the number below the column and entering the sample ID using the on-screen keyboard. When sample entry is complete, press proceed. A prompt will be shown to open the door followed by another prompt with an extraction checklist on. This checklist is very important. Take a few minutes to read through it and verify each step. Check that your samples have been pre-processed as per the technical manual of the kit. Check you have cartridges with seals completely removed in the correct positions. Your samples have been placed in each cartridge and that you have elution tubes at each position where there is a cartridge with the elution buffer and each cartridge contains a plunger. This will help minimize any errors in the extraction process. Next, you can insert the deck tray. Grasp the tray by either side. Push the back side of the tray in first, press back slightly and snap the front of the tray downwards. When your deck tray is inserted, press down firmly on the top of the cartridges and the elution tubes to make sure they are in their cradles correctly. When the deck tray is seated and you've verified this checklist, press start. The instrument will then return the deck tray to its home position. It will also press on the top of the cartridges to ensure they are seated and also engage the plungers on the plunger bar. The next screen you will see shows extraction progress. Please note the first time you run a specific method on a Maxwell instrument, the adaptive timing may not show correctly. As you can see in this example, it shows 11 minutes 50 seconds. This may not be the correct run time for that particular kit. Subsequent runs will show the correct timing. When the progress bar shows 100%, yet the instrument is still running, please do not press abort. The run is continuing as normal. The instrument is learning the correct run time. When the run finishes, you'll get an extraction complete pop-up. Press the open door button to bring the deck tray and your aluets out. Also displayed is the results screen. The results screen shows all the information about your extraction, such as sample ID, kit lot number, and time taken to complete the extraction. As you can see, with the AS1330 kit, this takes 32 minutes 35 seconds. When the adaptive timing has learned this after one run, subsequent runs will show the correct timings. To remove the deck tray, press back firmly and lift the front of the tray upwards. You can then lift the deck tray out. It is important to cap your elution tubes at this point to prevent contamination or spillage. They can also be capped while the deck tray is still in the instrument. Then remove your eluit tubes and place them into whichever storage method suits you. If you notice a small amount of bead carryover, Spin your tubes gently in a centrifuge to pellet them and transfer your eluits to a new tube. 
remove the plungers from the cartridge and dispose of them in the waste stream following your local regulations. Remove the cartridge by pulling on the clip on the back of the tray. Lift the back of the cartridge, and then the front. The resin has been carried through the extraction process and has been transferred from well 2 originally all the way through to well 7. You can now bring the deck tray back into the instrument by pressing the closed door icon on the top right of the tablet. Your extraction process is now complete. Press the home icon in the top left of the screen to return to the home screen of the Maxwell.